Hey, so this video is gonna be about Facebook ads and how to create Facebook ads and what you should look for, what you shouldn't look for, what makes all the difference, what doesn't. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go over what I set up this morning and then you guys can learn from it, use it and apply it. So I created about 20 different types of campaigns this morning between the business pages and I wanna show you guys what matters to me what works, what I found doesn't work, okay? So if you're not familiar with Facebook ads, obviously you need to get yourself an account. You need to jump in there and look at how it works. There's a ton of tutorials on how to set up Facebook ads. But a lot of people forget about the most important things and that's your audience is extremely important and the copy, okay? If you look at, I wanna bring up, I study a lot of copy on Facebook ads, and especially when I find a, somebody who's posting a lot. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Okay, you're just going to have to scroll in here. Here, there's somebody out there called Brad's Ads. He, he writes a lot of ads. So what I like to do is take these ads that I'm seeing posted all the time, and I will take a look at their copy. Sometimes I'll use some of it. Sometimes I won't. Um, but a good way to get really good results is actually create an ad with some really good copy. Okay, so if we take a look at this simple ad I set up this morning, you will see what I'm trying to do is just capture leads. I've created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ad sets. Okay, so you have your campaign and then within your campaign you have your different ad sets. You'll see as of this morning I have a total of two leads at a cost 255 per lead. Now, I will start to optimize this. You're gonna see some of these ad sets are not gonna work, some will, but for right now, you can see it's working. Um, I already got two leads, and on this just ad set alone, my cost per lead is 25 cents per lead, which is extremely good. So if we open this up, let's take a look at what worked. My target audience, I'm going after anyone with the job title in marketing on this one. Okay, here is the ad. Let's take a look at it. Okay. We're gonna look at it on the desktop feed. Scroll this in. It's coming, it's coming. Okay. So we'll we'll go jump over that when it shows up. I'm kinda in a bad internet spot. Okay, so take a look at this this ad. Obviously it's a video. This is for the white draw campaign. Okay, this video is just a fun video that shows a little bit about what we can do. And the copy is if we could show you how to craft your story so that people will listen, would you be interested? We have an offer for you. Most businesses have a message problem. They do not know how to tell their story in a way that people will listen. Then I just tell them, click on the learn more button to get access to pricing. I put a testimonial here and I put some about the results we've seen. Okay, that is not popping. Um, it's that simple. Now I address right there. I kind of pique their curiosity. That's number one. When you're creating Facebook ads, you want to pique their curiosity. You want to see, make sure that they like just stop and go, okay, do I have a need for that or do I not have a need for that? Then I test. So that's the ad copy. I tested this one and this ad copy is almost the same, but I took out a little bit and I'm just testing the different videos, see which video converts the best. Okay, so I have two different ad sets right there. Um, jump back over here. So once I've created one, one ad, so I have two ads, then what I, did, what I do is I start to duplicate these. And each one of these ad sets, I chart, I do a daily spend of $5. Now, some people like to just go right off the gate and put $50, which is fine. It just depends on what kind of budget you have. Your, the most important factor is your cost per conversion. Okay, you want to make sure your conversions fall within line of whatever product or service you're selling. If you have a high ticket item, you can spend a lot more. If you're spent, if you're 
um, selling a $15 product. Well, you can't be spending $30 on Facebook ads if you're only making $15. Okay? I like certain types of audiences that I'm a big fan of, look-alike audiences. So here's a look-alike audience of my 15-day visitors. That's a good one. You got 95% um, of anyone who's viewed my videos. So if I go in here to audiences, there's a lot of different things you can do here. Waiting, waiting. It's either my internet or Facebook. Okay, so I have lookalike audiences. If I do a filter, here's all my lookalikes. So I have engaged with the poster and ad. I got two million in there. Clicked on a call to action. 50% of my video. 75% of my city video. So guru video, you're a genius page. So what I do here is I go in there and say, okay, Facebook, if anyone has hit my actual conversion page, I want you to build me a lookalike audience. And you can do a 1%, which runs about 2 million, or a 2%, which usually is around 4 million. Okay, And then I even break it down from there. You can see I like to build lookalike audiences, build a lot of them. I upload my list from LinkedIn, from my contacts, and build audiences that way. Okay. So spend some time building audiences, thinking of different ways you can get them. You should make sure the, one of the very first things you do when you set up a website is you need to install the Facebook pixel and install the Google Analytics pixel. That way you can turn around and be running a lot of remarketing ad um, remarketing ads on both Facebook and on Google. Okay, so that's a quick look. So the two most important things I want you to take away from this simple Facebook tutorial is the copy. The copy of your ads does matter. Okay, if you have not studied certain books like Power of Persuasion, that's a good one. Um, I just got done reading a book called Admin, which is really good. You need to spend some time actually reading about copy and studying copy. If you don't know what you're doing, best thing you can do is find ads on Facebook that look to be working, ones that you like, and then copy what they're doing. Got it? Um, next thing are your audiences. So copies first. Next thing is your audience. Make sure you're being really creative with your audiences. Find, find the right audience. Use lookalike audiences. Use remarketing audiences. And just spend a few hours on actually creating a really good audience. Okay, so we will launch another video tomorrow, but I hope that helps on Facebook ads. Have a good day.